want you I will take hold of you Cause I need you Jesus Come to my rescue Where else can I go? There's no one in by which I'd save. Capture me with grace, I will follow. again where suddenly out of nowhere unbeknownst to me I had something in, in my throat and as soon as I start recording he shows himself to to my detriment <clears throat> but anyway I love that song. <laughs> I've known that song since I, before I can remember. 
because I don't remember a lot. And I know I've known it for a long time. Um, but I heard it recently. Um, for the first time in a while. And I was like, yeah, we should do that song. <sighs> but, I mean, you heard it. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's all things that we've talked about before. And it's just a good, it's a good song, you know. We need help all the time, <laughs> every day. Like that other song. We'll probably do that song too. Lord, I need you. Every hour I need you. Or any other song you could think of that talks about that, I guess. There's a lot of them. But I don't really have a, a verse for this or anything. There's nothing particularly special that I read this morning. Um, which, you know, it's normally on the, the talking days that that happens. But for this, it's just, you know, he's really the source of life. Literally, we're alive because of him. He breathes life into us. And he continues to sustain us physically. But also, in the other sense, like in Eden... God said, if you eat of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you will surely die. And after they did, they were, they were still alive. So, I don't know. <laughs> no. They, right then and there, spiritually died. Which is why all of us need spiritual regeneration. And in that moment, their bodies began to decay. Because up until that point, everything was perfect. Every, everything would last. There was no death. There was no evil. There was no bad going in the... There, there was no going in the wrong direction. Even literally. So they should surely die and 900 years later however long it was that adam lived he surely died and so do we all you know statistics show um about 99.9 .9 percent of people die because there were a couple that didn't die they were they were you know Elijah, Enoch. So technically, the joke that everybody makes that 10 out of 10 people die is wrong. I just thought about that now, actually. <laughs> <coughs> but anyway, so we all die. We are all dead in our trespasses and sins. And he is the source of life. He is the resurrection and life. No man comes to the Father except through him. Jesus. The second line about I can't be left behind is more of a reference on the other side of it. Um, being his child. It goes along the lines of his will not being that any should perish, but that all come to repentance, and that as his children, no one can snatch us out of his hand and all those stuff. No one else will do, I will take hold of you. Pretty self-explanatory. I need you, Jesus, to come to my rescue. Where else can I go? There's no other name by which I am saved. Capture me with grace. I will follow you. All things we've talked about before. No man comes to the Father except through me. There's no way to be spiritually regenerated, to have life, and have it more abundantly, and all the promises and all the... Um, additives really things that aren't necessary it all is from him Every he is the god of all that is good every good and perfect thing comes 
from him. And so being captured with grace also has two sides to it. Is saving grace, saving faith. Again, like the first line, there's the spiritual aspect of it. And the second the second one's spiritual too. I mean it's all spiritually intertwined, but to have his grace, you know, for the every day. It's the eternal aspect of it that we've talked about before. <clears throat> it wasn't just in that moment he was gracious and he, he was graceful and saved us. And then at some point it's gonna, you know, no more grace. It's we will continue to be under the grace of, of God. Because again, if if it wasn't us that paid for the the atonement and it was only Jesus and it was only by God's grace that he allowed us he gave us that it's like somebody let you have have <clears throat> something or let you have money they loaned you something loaned and they were like, no, you don't need to pay it back. It's yours. You can, I am giving this, I'm being, I'm giving this grace to you because grace is getting something you don't deserve. So it wasn't yours to get, it wasn't yours to have, and it was given to you by no merit. It was a gift. <clears throat> and so you use it for whatever you use it for. And everybody's happy and nice and yeah. And then a year later, and they come back to you and they're like, you need to pay up the money that I, I let you borrow. Now you have to, you have to work for the money. So the, so the grace ended, you know, <clears throat> or on the other side of it, if Jesus's death suddenly was not like Jesus's death, um, only paid for, you know, 10,000 years you know of eternity and then you gotta insert another quarter <laughs> in into the the what whatever you get the idea <clears throat> but no that's not the case it's eternal which is awesome <laughs> this world has nothing for me I will follow you <clears throat> this world has nothing for me <laughs> There is nothing here that I could get that could be worth more or could mean more or could will give me more, will offer more than even just that, that thing, the grace, the mercy, the love that was lavished that we can be called sons of God, children. <coughs> and all the other stuff, all the other stuff. I said the unnecessary stuff, the stuff that he didn't, I mean, he didn't need to give the first part anyway. Ring, ring. But he didn't need to give everything else either. He could have just gave us the, the, the pass for heaven and that was it. And everything else was just, you make of it what you will. But no, he continues to like all the stories that I'm probably gonna tell you from from the trip, at least a couple of them, I don't know. <coughs> but anyway, this is going kind of, um, it's getting long already, so I think that's about it. It's just, I like that, I like that song. It's a good song. Music is nice, it's doctrinally sound, and it's an old song. I just, I just like older, older songs. <coughs> but anyway. Yeah, I think that's I think that's it. I just felt like playing that one, and I'm gonna get to work on some stuff. So uh, I'll see you guys next time.